welcome back to English with Lucy. Today we are going to address a very important question, a very overused question. What's up? What's up is one of those generic phrases that you will get asked time and time again. A question to which we are all socially programmed to answer, not much, you. Now, I'm going to provide you with some alternative responses. I'm not going to commit to the adjective funny. I will say that they are different and potentially interesting. <laughs> If you are learning English as a second language, then hopefully this lesson will help you understand a little bit more about the British sense of humour and it should assist you in expanding your vocabulary slightly so that you don't have to just respond with nothing much or good thanks you. Before we get started, I would just like to thank the sponsor of today's video. It is italki. And if you haven't heard of italki before, it's a huge online database of both native and non-native teachers who give one-to-one -one video lessons 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can learn English and over 130 other languages from anywhere in the world as long as you have a stable internet connection. It's an incredibly affordable way of learning a language, much cheaper than an offline tutor or an in-person language academy. So many students message me and ask me how they can meet and talk with native speakers. Italki is a really great option because it gives you the opportunity to talk with community teachers who will practice conversation with you. They've given me a special offer to pass on to you. You can get $10 worth of italki credits for free in your student wallet 48 hours after making your first purchase of any amount. And that could be a free lesson. All you've got to do is click on the link in the description box to sign up. Right, let's get started with the lesson. So a lot of these responses are quite sarcastic. When we ask the question, what's up? We are asking sort of, what are you doing? How are you? How are you doing? And we expect a generic answer, but sometimes we want to provide the asker with something a little bit different. Take a look at my first example. What's up? Well, it's a movie about an old guy who makes his house fly away and captures a small child. This is because we are sarcastically presuming that the person asking the question is asking about the movie up. Number two, what's up? My blood pressure, actually. Another option continuing on the um, unhappy theme. <laughs> What's up? My rent, my taxes, my bills. This is true. Life is getting very expensive. <laughs> Or we could have a nice one. Number four. What's up? My serotonin levels after seeing you, my friend. I like that one. I think I'm going to use it more frequently. Or we could add a little suspicion into the mix. Number five. What's up? Why? What did you hear? <laughs> Or we could take the question more literally. Number six, what's up? It's a two-letter word indicating direction. Or if you like grammar, you could say number seven, what's up? A preposition, because it is. Another one, number eight, what's up? Not my salary, unfortunately. In a previous video, which I will link down below, we did discuss the difference between wages and salary. If you want to use a general term, you can say pay. Another one, number nine, what's up? My anxiety levels. It's a true story. <laughs> Another one, what's up? Aeroplanes, birds, clouds. What do you want from me? Stop asking this boring question. Ooh, the next one is quite threatening. Number 11, what's up? Your time on earth. I can see it. Or you could just be really honest and say, what's up? The opposite of down. Now, another one that I really like because I feel like people ask what's up when they don't really care about what you have to say. So you could kind of scare them and say something like, how much time do you have? Honestly, so much is up. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Let me tell you everything. Or this great answer to what's up something Rick Astley refuses to give to anyone. If you don't understand that, I have got a link to the full explanation video for that one in the description box. Some other obvious ones, we could say the sky or the ceiling or 
couple of planets. You could also mention some uncomfortable to some social issues like homelessness or childhood obesity. Or if you just want to be really honest, you could reply to what's up with not me actually, I've been feeling a bit down. Right, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned some new creative and different ways of responding to that totally boring question, what's up? Don't forget to check out italki. You can get $10 worth of italki credits for free in your student wallet 48 hours after making your first purchase of any amount. And don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter and my personal channel, Lucy Bella Earl, where I talk about life and everything that isn't related to English. I will see you soon for another lesson. Mwah.